Hi, Steve Gailey. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate. Um, um, I'm going to demonstrate um, install um, configuring uh, Carly Purple, uh, Metasploitable Two, and OS Broken Web Access Server um, in VirtualBox uh, to use my um, my wireless um, wireless network. So I'm going to add a new VM, and I'll start with Carly. Uh, I'll call this Carly. Um, VH lib, and I'm going to go to other, and I've got a folder here that I've created, which is in uh, VMs, and this Carly folder. So I'll select that folder, and this will be a um, a Linux, and it'll be a Debian Debian Bullseye 64-bit, and uh, then I'll go to next, and I'll give this uh, full gig of RAM. And next, and I'm going to use an existing uh, VDI file, which I have. So I'm going to um, add this one, and I'll go and find it. So it should be in 2023. Oops. VMs, Ethical Hacking, Carly, and it's this VDI. So it's 80 gig, and I'll choose that. And uh, then I'll go to next. And then I'm finished. But before I'm completely finished, I need to sort out my networking. So I'll go into settings and I want to bridge this onto my wireless network. So I'm just going to go to network. And instead of that, I'm going to choose bridged. And you can see here it's defaulting to the Wi Fi because I'm connected via Wi Fi, which is fine. So I'll hit OK. And um, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll start that VM. And let that start up. So while I'm doing that, I can do my um, Metasploitable while that's booting up. So let's just let that um, hit enter. Just let that boot up. Uh, and now let's go to new and let's call this um, Metasploitable EH. Lab and I'm going to choose other and I'm going to go to 2023 and VMs ethical hacking Metasploitable 2. So I'll select that folder now. It's definitely not Windows, so it needs to be Linux. And what sort of Linux we need to find out. So we're just going to use other Linux. Other Linux 64 bit, and uh, then next, and I'll give this um, 2048, so 2 gig of RAM should be fine, and then next, and I'm going to use the existing VHD, so I'll just attach that, so I'll add it, and I'll go and find it, so it's in uh, 2023 VMs, ethical hacking. Uh, it's a VMDK. That's all right. Uh, we'll choose that. And um, we'll go next. And then we'll finish. Now, before we start this, we need to go to our network settings. So network settings, and we're going to make it bridged. And um, we're going to make it bridged, and we're going to um, make sure it's bridged to Wi-Fi. Hit OK. And um, then we can uh, start this one up as well. So while we're there, let's go and have a look at our um, Carly. So let's log in here. Yep, then new password. So I've logged into there now. So um, I'm going to have a look and see what my um, IP address is. So I'm going to go IP name. And um, hopefully I've got a, yes, and I've got a 192.168. I've got a 192.168.88.252. So, um, so I'm, I've picked up an IP address on the, um, on the 252 network. So I should be able to ping 
168.88.1. Yep. And ping 8888. Yep. It's all good. And um, I should also be able to ping um, my Windows client, which is 192.168.88.9, I think it was. Not nine. What's our Windows client? Yeah, eighty eight dot nine. It's interesting. That's okay. Um, so we've got our our Carly running. So let's have a look at our um, Metasploitable. So we've got MSF admin. And password is MSF admin. And uh, I'll just do an IP on here. And we've got a 192.168.88.251. So that's looking good. So I should be able to do um, 192.168.88.1, and I can, and also ping 8.8.8.8, and I can get out. Excellent. So I've got one more to do, which is OWASP BWA. So let's give that one a go. So let's um, my control out of there. We'll go to new. And we'll call this OWASP BWA EH lab. We've got a folder for this one as well. So let's go down and let's go to 2023 VMs, ethical hacking, OWASP BWA, and select that folder. And um, then we want to make it Linux. And I try the um, Other Linux 64-bit. Um, I'll just check that. So we can make this a Ubuntu 64-bit, and then next, and then I'll give this um. If I'm not running out of memory, four gig RAM, and we're using existing VHD. So we'll go and add it. And it is 23 VMs, ethical hacking, that's my VDI. Choose it, next, and finish. And go to our settings and network, and we'll make it bridged. And it's bridged to Wi-Fi. This could be bridged to Ethernet if you're connected to Ethernet, but because I'm connecting via Wi-Fi, I'm bridging to Wi-Fi. Ideally, what we'd do is we'd use Wi-Fi on the Windows client and use Ethernet for the rest and have an Ethernet connection, have two separate um, hosts, but I'm doing this all on the one on the one host. So that's okay. So I'll start that one up as well. And uh, let's just, while we're starting waiting for that to start, let's go to our Windows 10 client. Let's run up command prompt. And let's just um, ping 192.168.88.1. Uh, ping with a G. That's all good. So we should be able to ping Carly. Now Carly was, Carly, which one was Carly? Carly was here. And Carly is, um, eighty eight two five two. And we can ping Carly from Windows. Excellent. Okay, so how's our OWASP BWA coming up? Here it is. So our rock our here we've got our username is root. And our password is 
OSBWI. And um, you can see here we've got um, 192.168.88.250. So if we do a ping, 192.168.88.1, and we've got connectivity to our gateway, ping um, 88.252, which is our Kali box, and we can connect to Kali, and I'll ping um, 8.8.8.8. And we're all good. So I think we've sort of demonstrated just through use of pinning that we can we've got basic connectivity to um, to all of our four VMs. So what are our four VMs? We've got OS BWA running. We've got our um, our Windows ten client running. We've got our um, Kali box running, and we've got Metasploitable Metasploitable running as well. So these are all these are all communicating via our um, via our um, our wireless network. So if we go and have a look at our um, our wireless um, wireless network, let's have a look and um, see what we've got connected. Do a refresh on there, and you can see here we've got two five three. Where's our other clients coming up? Uh, well, let's go to Webfig. That will tell us. And then if we go to wireless and um, we go to connect list, no, registration, sorry. So when we land, where's our, where's our clients? Um, there is a way to find our clients. I'm just not familiar with how to do it. Anyway, um, we should be able to see all of our wire, wireless clients connected onto our um, onto our wireless network. Um, if we go into IP and we go DHCP client and uh, or DHCP server, sorry, and look at our leases, these are all our leases. So we've got 250, which is OSBWA, 251, I'm not sure, whoops, let's go back. 251, I'm not sure which one 251 is. Um, 52, which is Carly, and 53, which is um, my, ho my host. And um, we've got nine, which is our static Windows client. So you can see we've got all of our um, all of our leases on our um, on our DHCP network. Some of these are via wireless, and uh, some of them are via um, this one's. These are via wireless, and um, yeah, actually, these are all via wireless. Okay, hope that video has been helpful. Thanks very much for watching.